UK Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Before I start with this, uh, let me give an introduction thing. If you remember, uh, uh, during the demo and during the first session, we were discussing about components of Selenium. At that time, um, we discussed three components, Selenium IDE, Selenium RC or Selenium WebDriver, and then Selenium Build. Okay. It's one of the Selenium component. And as I said, this is not a tool, it is a concept. It is a concept to execute multiple uh, scripts on multiple machines. Okay. Uh, by this time I would have start this uh, virtual machine. See here I have a virtual machine. Uh, let me start main one. So here uh, it means uh, we can execute a single script on different uh, varieties of the uh, versions, flavors of the machine. Say for example, we built a single script and we can we can make use of the, uh, say we wrote a, uh, say for example, eBay login, eBay uh, script. Okay. Say here uh, I want to execute this eBay script. Let, let me start this and even if you observe here uh, if you observe here blackberry 10 uh, device simulator actually this is uh, for my office purpose actually we wrote selenium scripts uh, to test on the blackberry device uh, i wanted to show it but it, it's going to take a lot of time and opening and all probably by next class i will see um, and it reads uh, so many prerequisites that uh, to open all these prerequisites itself itself it will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes we will see in the next session. As of now, we will go with this. Yep. So, what I am saying here, uh, we are uh, making a um, test on Windows 7, C++ plus uh, Firefox 28 version. Okay. And even I want to make sure that my application is working on Windows 7 plus Firefox 25th version. So, here uh, probably we need to have multiple machines to test Linux, not only, and say test on Linux. Okay, say Linux with say Opera. So these things we can uh, we have a single script we can make execute on different uh, combinations here. All these things what we basically need we need the infrastructure. Okay, of course if we want to execute on Linux we need to have Linux right. So however as of note in today's session I will try to execute. Uh, a single script on Windows 7 with Firefox 28. Actually, the Firefox, whatever I have it is, I think it is in version. Let's see here, this is a 28th version. Okay. And here in um, this particular machine, uh, this this is a Windows 7. Uh, here I probably think there, it has a Windows 25, sorry, Firefox 25. So, however, we are uh, trying to uh, execute a single script on multiple machines. Okay, that is uh, that can be possible here in Selenium Build. Okay, so the first step that we have to do here, uh, there is a Selenium uh, server jar file. Uh, let me give a link. Yeah, here Selenium server on this particular file. 
okay download this particular file so basically this is a selenium server okay once you download this you first download this particular uh, thing uh, here in my machine it's already downloaded it is somewhere uh, Yes, here I have a 2.39.0 so I will make use of this Selenium server ok so let me copy this so first download this particular Selenium server from the same site go to download and uh, Selenium server download this ok the second thing is we have to create a hub and I uh, know all this uh, terminology makes a bit um, kind of confusion and it makes a bit scary ok even when I was learning selenium uh, grid uh, even I was when I was looking at this terminology I feel uh, more uh, I thought it, it is going to be more complex but it's not really uh, see here first it's a hub hub means it's a kind of a central point only the terminology will uh, you know uh, make scary but it's not really hub means no. it's a central point where it will show all the uh, configurations available for selenium Oops. Okay, let me show what I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, to establish the hub, to have the, to make, uh, to create a hub, we have to open the command prompt. Okay, and we have to navigate to this particular uh, folder. Okay, how to navigate here in command prompt? CD space uh, this one. Okay. So I can put this Hi, hi Kumar. Yes. Kumar, uh, sorry to disturb you. I am not able to see your screen. Uh, are you open command prompt? Yes. Yeah, just now I can. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what about this? Uh, is it in sync for you? What about others? Uh, are you, uh, okay, yeah. It seems for others it's good. Yeah. Uh, see here. Uh, here I have to execute this command I mean basically I need to this is a jar file we have to execute this jar file so here uh, the command is java jar and we have to give the uh, this name and then uh, we have to give the role what exactly you wanted to use so this is the command java jar to execute a jar file generally this is the command so let me right click and let me paste so java iphone jar and we have to give the selenium uh, this particular file name and make sure that you have used dot jar ok generally we forget make sure that you have used jar over here ok the file name dot jar and iphone role hub ok so which basically uh, by using this line uh, it creates a hub Okay, by using this one, we, we create a hub. Since it got stopped. now it is coming up here it is saying launching a selenium grid server so it's like uh, you know we are starting a server ok let it just minimize this ok now the next step is uh, if we want to look at the uh, hub actually this is a 
kind of a ba backbone of the hub. Now, if you want to really look at the uh, uh, how a hub looks like, now here go to the browser and say here uh, localhost. You have to save this statement. If you open this, it will show a hub hub kind. Let me include this statement here. Hub here. By using this uh, URL, we can observe the hub. We can uh, we can look at the hub. Okay. So after we start the hub, actually after we start the server for the web hub, uh, you know, uh, open this particular uh, uh, URL here. It will show some set of options. So yeah, there is a console option. But as of now, we just created a hub. It's a hub means it's a kind of a router. Let me say in our home uh, we have a router. For that router we can connect from uh, our PC uh, or uh, we can connect uh, through a um, mobile device, right? So it's a similar concept. So now just we created a router. Just make you understand I'm using this terminology. It's not exactly okay. So we have just we have just a router, but we did not connect uh, uh, a PC or we did not connect a mobile device to the router. We just have a router. That's it. Now we'll discuss about how to connect, how to uh, connect, uh, how to connect, or uh, how to link the um, machine. Uh, say, I treat, I uh, have created a hub. Say here now uh, we have two machines. One is our local machine. This is the machine where we have opened Excel. The other machine is this. Okay, this is a virtual machine. So now we have two machines. So it means like uh, we have a router, and for that router we wanted to, uh, we want to connect. Uh, for, uh, from two different machines, we wanted to connect to the router, I mean hub. Okay, now here, for that, see here I am uh, again opening a command prompt, and here for that, it's like uh, here in uh, uh, Selenium, we call it as a node. Okay, the terminology here, it is node. Okay, as I said, uh, no, you can treat it as a, a mobile device or a system or a uh, laptop in your home and you are connecting to a, your router okay so this is a router okay to observe the router this is a link and um, say this is a mobile device so i'm connecting from this mobile device to the router okay and here this is the this is the command which makes uh, this local machine if you open this command and again go to the same place i mean first of all this is a Again, go to the same uh, place where we have this file, Selenium server. And we have to say cd slash cd and uh, location. Now here, uh, before that, let me explain what it is doing. Okay, let me explain here itself. Uh, well, this looks like a bigger command, but not really. Mm, give a minute. See here, we are creating a, a role web driver. And here, uh, a browser, we are giving the type of the browser, what is a browser. And here we have to give the browser name, okay. And version of the uh, browser, maximum instances. How many maximum instances that we can open uh, in a particular uh, machine, okay. We are saying one, okay. What is the platform that we are executing? What is the hub host, uh, local host? It's like giving a uh, hub host in a sense. Where uh, where we have our uh, uh, what we say uh, hub? Where is our hub? I'm saying local host. Basically, here uh, this the node is here in the local host. I mean local host in the sense uh, my local machine, my machine. Okay, so the hub is created here in my local machine, and as well as the node is also in the same machine. Okay, so I'm saying hub host is local host means the same machine and port. Uh, from which port have to connect? This is the port. 
okay here i have given the i gave the browser name and version of the browser and say a browser a browser name is firefox and version is 28 why i am mentioning 28 here in my local machine the version of this firefox browser is 28 so first of all i am uh, creating a node but i am giving all this uh, information over here okay now let me go here now let me just hit enter okay now it is basically um, see it is saying adding browser name firefox uh, it is adding to the hub okay it will take some time uh, half a minute after that if you go to this local host and if you refresh here you can find uh, one information here you can see a firefox uh, logo and uh, you can see a kind of uh, one of this here can you observe here now it is showing the driver v2080 and here you can see a firefox it means here uh, first we initially this is the first one is for the selenium hub this is the hub uh, uh, command prompt first we have created the hub and after that the same in the same machine we have created the node okay so now because of this here you can see a uh, uh, multiple browsers this one so for example if i close this one so i'm just closing this and if i go and if i refresh this this has to be vanished again Let me click on something now. Oops, here it is saying fail to check status of node. Can you observe here? Uh, it is showing over there in the grid, but if you observe here in the hub level, it is saying fail to check the status of the node. Connection refused. Connect. It is trying to connect basically. Okay. Probably after some time, uh, it will realize that it is not there, so it is going to be uh, uh, it is not it is going to be vanished here. I hope you are following what I am saying. I have closed the node. So what it is trying to do? It is trying to connect to the node here in the server. Okay, it will give it try, and after that, uh, it it is going to be vanished here. As of now, here it is showing, and of course here uh, it is saying unknown version connect uh, connection refused. Here it is showing some kind of message, of course. Okay, now if I again if you open command prompt and if I again open this node, so let me mention CD space. Okay, and uh, if I go here, now we are executing this right again it is saying adding probably if you go now here and if we if we refresh this this highlighted the one unknown version connected refused this should be vanished see here now it is saying version 239 okay now it has connected now in a similar way go to this particular uh, machine okay this is a virtual machine now again here, uh, first of all, let us observe what is the version of the Firefox here. See here, uh, the version of the Firefox here in this machine is 16.0.1. Okay, why it is downloading them? No. See here. Oh, it is saying an update. We will see what it is going to. But however, if you upgrade the version of this Firefox here, uh, 16.01. Okay. Now, uh, here again, we will open the command prompt. Okay. Here, uh, uh, we are going to use uh, this one so here also we need to download this selenium server in the machine where we want to use the uh, this uh, uh, node wherever we want to create the node there also we should have the selenium um, uh, uh, we need to download the selenium server probably i think i have downloaded it here let's see here i have selenium okay now see here i have downloaded the selenium server this particular file okay so first cd space 
this particular location. So we navigated to this particular folder. Now here for creating a node one here. Now see here, if you observe here, here browser name, browser name is browser Firefox version, maximum instance, platform and here hub host system, uh, can you all agree here, here uh, after this hub host I have mentioned SOS, can you guess why I have mentioned SOS? And here in the previous case, if you remember here in the place of hub host here, I mentioned uh, local host. Any guesses why I have mentioned local host here and why I am going to mention uh, uh, See here, if you observe the difference between this and this, yep, any guesses? Yep, that's correct, uh, Harita. Because here, the first node that we have created, that we have opened here in this machine itself. So, we are pointing, we are saying that local host. It means the hub is available in this machine itself. Okay. But whereas here, this node we are trying to uh, create, we, we are trying to create this node, here in the uh, this uh, virtual machine is different. So from this machine, from this machine to uh, we are trying to establish a connection from this machine to uh, this machine, the the original machine here, and that to for this hub. Okay, I'm trying to establish a connection from the uh, virtual machine to this. Okay, now that is the reason here we are mentioning uh, here hub system SOS. SOS means it is the name of my system. Okay, SOS means here if you go to this, uh, if you go to the properties of my system, the name of the system e would be SYS here. So actually I am giving a name uh, here, it's here. Can you observe here? The name of the system is SYS. Okay. So that is the reason here I am giving, giving the uh, system SYS, SYS. Okay. So uh, one minute, let me write it back. Yeah. So here uh, let us copy all these things. Okay. Now let me go to its virtual machine. Now again, before uh, creating this mode, how many things we have? We have only one browser version that is available, it is showing, right? Now if we go here, and if you execute this command, now it is adding one more thing, adding browser name and all. Now if you go to this uh, hub now, if you refresh, Restring the node. Yep. Now it is restart. Let me refresh. Now can you see here? Here you can observe one more uh, option here. Earlier we had this option only. Now you can observe this. Now here uh, you have web driver and this version. Okay. So if you if you want to uh, execute your script on uh, 28, you can execute on 28. Okay. If you want to execute on your uh, Firefox 16. You can execute Firefox 16. Not only this, you can uh, configure multiple browsers, multiple versions, multiple operating systems. So Selenium Grid is like a hub, as I said. It, uh, here it is going to show all these nodes. Say if I have in this virtual machine, if I have some Linux, uh, Mac, say I have all those operating systems, uh, those can be uh, uh, shown over here. Okay. Now to follow the same procedure. Okay. Now, see here, now we will go to the Selenium script. Now we have to customize a bit of our Selenium script. So for that, 
this is the logic over here. Now there is a concept called uh, selenium uh, desired capabilities. Uh, let me explain about this. Then we'll go for the uh, script. Okay. Here uh, there is a concept called desired capabilities. That is a, a class which is available here in uh, Selenium WebDriver. Okay. Uh, basically, by using Selenium WebDriver, uh, sorry, by, by using uh, desired capabilities, we can uh, customize or we can ca configure. We can say that I want to execute on so and so browser. I want to execute on so and so machine. I want to execute on um, uh, so and so uh, um, uh, version of the browser. It means, say here in the hub, what we have, we have as of now we have uh, two browsers available. One browser is 28th version. One browser is 16th version, right? Now here uh, from the Selenium script itself, we can uh, point on which browser that we want to execute. That can be achievable by using something called desired capabilities. It means uh, by uh, using desired capabilities, we will mention that I want to execute on so and so browser and so and so version. Okay, automatically and so and so platform also. Automatically, it is going to be um, pick that particular machine, uh, whatever the machine that is available with that configuration, it is going to pick and it is going to execute. Okay, one thing. The other way, other thing is. Uh, uh, not only for this option, uh, the other use of the desired capabilities is, if you remember uh, uh, in Internet Explorer, if you want to execute our scripts on Internet Explorer, I said um, you need to configure Internet Explorer options, right? Did you remember that option? Uh, that uh, enable that protected uh, mode. I said if you want to execute the scripts on uh, Internet Explorer, first of all you have to uh, uh, make sure uh, two things. What is the uh, what is the one of them? Did you remember? I said if you want to execute Selenium scripts on Internet Explorer, there are two things that we have to take care. One is uh, the security here in the Internet option and the security. We have to make sure that this option is enabled. If it is an if it, if this checkbox is enabled, it should be enabled for all these options here. Okay, for these four options here, this checkbox is enabled. Or it either enabled or, or disabled. It can be either enabled or disabled. But the thing is, here for four of the options, it should it should be seen. Okay, for these four of the options, it should be seen. Okay, so sometimes we may forget it, right? Sometimes we may forget it. So this kind of option we can automatically configure from the script itself, okay? Because it is one of the desired uh, one, uh, like we want to open Internet Explorer with this particular setting, right? So this setting automatically we can configure from the uh, Selenium script itself by using something called desired capabilities, okay? By using desired capabilities we can automatically configure this setting, okay? And what is the other thing that uh, I said uh, that you have to uh, take care in uh, while executing in, uh, in Internet Explorer? Yeah, that we have to uh, use Internet Explorer driver that uh, to open that. Okay. Did you remember something called zoom level? What is the zoom percentage that we have to use uh, uh, in Internet in, the, in Internet Explorer while executing the scripts? Yeah, hundred. You have to use 100 percentage of the zoom level. It should not be less than. It should not be greater than. Okay, that uh, two things that we have discussed uh, while uh, uh, in uh, multiple browsers executions. Yeah. However, uh, now let me open uh, uh, our eBay example here. Uh, here we have eBay without recording, right? Okay, now uh, let me do one thing. Let me let me create a new script here. I'm saying Selenium grid. Okay. Here, uh, let me copy this logic. Okay. 
now here in the place of this Firefox driver. It was like a straightforward, right? Earlier, uh, it straightforwardly it was opening the Firefox. But now, where we want to open the Firefox? And moreover, I know here the thing is, first from our Selenium script. Okay, let me show a bit a small picture here. So this is a selenium grid. Okay. Now what we have done uh, so far? No. Okay, so this is the selenium grid. Okay, now here uh, so far we have created two nodes. Okay, here is one node, and here is one node. Okay, and we have a uh, node one, node two. Now here node one is containing a uh, Firefox twenty uh, sixth version, right? And here fire, uh, Firefox version. I think in the machine I have Firefox 28 version. Okay, node one contains the Firefox 28. Node one has the Firefox 16. Now here, uh, here we have the Eclipse. Here we have the Selenium script. Okay. Earlier, what we used to do? In earlier uh, cases, uh, in the Selenium script itself, we will directly open this Firefox, right? Okay. Now, what we have to do, if we want to open this uh, this browser, or if we want to open this browser, we have to connect first from Selenium script to we have to connect to the Selenium grid. From the Selenium grid, it will automatically choose based on the versions that you have mentioned over here. Okay. I hope you are getting what I am saying. In the other case, in the Selenium script itself, we will we were uh, we were uh, opening this uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer directly. But now, if I want to open Firefox 28 version here, okay, now I have to open from the Selenium grid, okay, from the Selenium script, we have to connect uh, from the Selenium script to the Selenium grid, okay, so this can be achievable like this, there is a something called remote web driver, okay, we have discussed about Firefox, we have discussed about Internet Explorer, we have discussed about um, Chrome, this different browsers, right. In a similar way, there is a some uh, some driver called a remote web driver. Uh, remote web driver. Okay. By using this rem remote web driver from the Selenium script, we can connect from the Selenium script to the Selenium grid. And so in the Selenium grid, it will automatically decide based on the versions that we want to execute. Okay. Now here, uh, now let me make it as web driver. Even this also works. Uh, however. Let me put the logic from here. So this is an example for the um, desired capabilities. Here we don't require this as of now. Okay, we have to import this. I was talking about an Internet Explorer. Um, we wanted to configure uh, the security setting, right? That we can automatically achieve uh, by using this okay so by using these three lines uh, you don't need to manually uh, actually um, this in the internet explorer this uh, protected mode this can be configured here okay so here this is a protected mode this uh, this is going to be set this is going to be true for all the uh, four options showing this uh, right for f this for these four this is going to be true okay so that is the uh, that is going to be automatically configured here okay 
So, however, which is not required. So, basically, this is the desired capabilities. Uh, here, uh, by using this, we are creating the instance of the Internet Explorer here, and then we are configuring it. Set capability. Okay. So, not only this, there are so many other options for each each browser level. We have different different. For Internet Explorer, we have some set of options. For Firefox, we have some set of options. For Chrome, we have some set of options. Uh, basically, if you really want to look into those options, and if you come across any any uh, situation like that, basically you can um, uh, go for this desired capabilities uh, source location. I will show where we can find this. Okay, I will uh, will show in the next session. Um, you can see this desired capabilities related or uh, uh, methods and all. Now, this is the logic. So give me a minute. Now, see here, earlier case, we were directly writing uh, this, uh, this one, Firefox driver. Okay. Earlier case, uh, we just, we have this line, just to open the browser. Give a minute, um, let me... Yeah. So, in the earlier case, we had a simple line uh, where uh, we can directly execute, uh, we will directly open the uh, Firefox. But now see here, as we wanted to open uh, a particular spe a specific uh, Firefox version, because here we have multiple uh, versions available here in the grid, okay, that one twenty-eight version is available, 16 version is available. So on which version that you want to execute? So here first I am creating an, uh, this one, I am creating an object for desired capabilities and here we have to mention the what is the project and what is the version. So first of all, let me give it 28.0. Uh, okay. So now it is automatically going to pick my local machine, and uh, it is going to execute on the local machine. And uh, what is our uh, platform? I mean, what is the operating system? It is a Windows, right? So I'm mentioning Windows. And here we have to give the uh, location of the uh, this web driver. Uh, sorry, Selenium grid. Here web driver or browser. Remote web driver. I said here Firefox driver, which we, which will automatically open the Firefox. But here we have to connect to the Selenium grid, right? We can if we, uh, we can connect to the Selenium grid from this remote web driver, and here we have to give the URL of the uh, uh, grid here. Here this should be localhost. Okay. And here um, probably it is R two six three. That's it. Basically, from this Selenium script, as I said here, from this Selenium script, we are connecting to the grid. Okay, how we are connecting? By using this logic. By using this logic, we, we are connecting. Once it connects, uh, what it has to do? What it has to select? What uh, what it has to select? It should select either uh, 16th version or it should select 20th uh, 20th uh, version. That we have uh, mentioned over here. Okay, and this particular object we have sent, uh, we have used over here, in this uh, over here. Okay, the only difference between the earlier and here is these lines. Okay, and if you if you really understand this concept, and even these lines also does not matter, it, it may not be painful. Now I will try to execute this. Now if you execute this, what it has to do? It has to execute on my local machine here.
now see here now it basically connects to the web driver and from the web driver um, it will uh, pick the uh, the browser where we have 28 version okay that 28 version will be available here and uh, the other machine so wherever it is available in that machine it is going to execute the script okay We'll, we'll observe it. As far as I remember, yeah. see here, can you observe here? now this is a disabled, it means now this particular uh, configuration in, in use, okay, if you observe here, there is a difference between this logo and this logo, right, this is disabled, okay, it is executing here, it is going to execute over here, see here, if you observe here, browser name, version 28, it has picked this particular script, trying to create a new session on test, start maximum instance, even here we should able to see the script name it is not opening the browser no actually this will not take this much time it's like a normal uh, normal way it is not throwing any error here and you cannot see any browser is it executing anything over here in the no it is not going to execute here because no here also it is not executing what it is doing Okay, now it seems now it is open. It's a bit slow, maybe probably this because of my machine. Basically, it, it will not take this much time. Now, can you observe here? It is a Selenium web driver. Now, it is opening the browser and it's going to do a, a search here in my local machine. Okay. Okay, now it is done. Okay, let me close this browser. I think I did not write the logic to close the browser. Yeah. Now see here. Uh, see previously it was updating, right? We'll see whether really it got updated or not. Okay. Yeah, now we'll try to execute on this um, on this virtual machine on this Sony so Firefox. No, I don't want to update, right? it is automatically got updated here also we have 28.0 version so obviously it is going to choose uh, uh, one of the machine here now if we refresh but we have registered as 16.0 right we will we'll give it a try we will give it a try on this but not sure uh, it was automatically got updated here now see here I am saying 16.0.1 right that's it now see here the remaining things are same like it is a Firefox it is a um, Windows operating system and it has to connect to the Selenium grid now it will connect to the Selenium grid 
the it will connect to the selenium grid and here this this thing has to be uh, now see here this got uh, uh, disabled and this should be enabled why is behaving like this probably you know we did not use uh, this uh, drive uh, this this drive dot we tried probably because of that not sure actually it, uh, it, it, it should be here this should be enabled and this should be disabled now now this is disabled that is ok let's see here can you observe here it is opening eb.com actually we have registered it as a 16.01 but still it is executing it as we have a firefox browser it is still executing now can you see here it is executing in the my virtual machine ok the execution is happening in the virtual machine so like this we can execute a, a script i mean we can uh, we can have a scripts in one machine and we can execute on uh, linux we can uh, execute on any combination opera linux whatever the combination that you want that you want to execute you can execute on any combination okay just you have to create the nodes okay it's a straight forward just a kind of a confusion uh, only thing is you know first you have to download this file uh, create a hub and create the nodes whatever the nodes uh, whatever the flavors of the nodes that you want you can create the nodes okay so only is you have to while creating the node you have to mention uh, what is the browser version what is the uh, browser name what is the browser version and what is the platform that you are using okay you have to make sure that uh, those are the facts those are the correct details okay after that in, in the place of the instant in uh, in the place of uh, opening the browser you can use these this these can use this uh, this particular logic okay yeah. any questions on this concept any questions over here H2K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.